How are we going today, Minasan? My name is Rakan, and thank you so much for clicking on this video. We finally got an official screenshot of Bayonetta 3 that is not shown in the Bayonetta 3 trailer, and I'm gonna break it down for you right now. There is actually some new things that we can deduce from the close-ups of the mysterious life forms, the MILFs, so stick around till the end. If you are new to the channel, uh, welcome to the 89th episode. You know what to do if you do not want to miss out on more Bayonetta 3 theories. It is very nice to meet you. So here it is. This was posted on Twitter by Mr. Eddie Garcia, who is a vice president of media relations for Nintendo. Nintendo America. It definitely looks like gameplay, so I'm pretty sure he's already got his hands on it, or at least has played the demo or the actual game from what it looks like. But hey, any new Bayonetta 3 footage and gameplay is priceless, so it's a huge thank you to him for bringing us this golden nugget. We got a new angle of gameplay that again was absent from the Bayonetta 3 trailer, but it's so much more crisp than the trailer itself, so a big shutdown to all the people saying that the trailer was too grainy. I'm pretty sure this is a good sign. I'm pretty sure this is coincidence, but we're gonna start it off with something really, really out there. One million percent coincidence, but the yellow light is very coincidental. Of <laughs> Kind of like how Bayonetta 3 is said to be the convergence of the two- All right, nah, I'm just kidding. That's just stupid. All right, for real this time, you get to see how elegant Cereza looks like and how the colors are more vibrant, at least relative to the trailer's gameplay. And even the physics of her hair is following her backflip. And that is a great sign for the next upcoming characters to look forward to, to potentially see how well they've been developed as well. I'm so positive now that they've worked super hard on this and oh my God, I can't take it. She's so hot. You get to see the side view of her floral engravings on her suit, which I absolutely love, and another look at her Color My World guns. Moving on to what is actually happening, she's in the middle of her backflip dodge once you've pressed R2 or ZR, and the witch time you see here is the pre-witch time animation that's before the witch time itself, before you get to see the celestial galaxy design that we saw in the trailer. The setting is still in Shibuya, which is in the same plaza that you were reversing that giant milf with the Moonrise Whisper billboard, so it does seem like they are going to only show the early chapters for the marketing of Bayonetta 3, which I'm completely okay with. Leave it to us to uncover the game. On the right, there is a better look at the atmosphere that is surrounding Japan, or Japan as far as we know, but it feels like the trinity of realities have merged so that it further cements that this world, or, or timeline, actually has gone bonkers. Which is why we're gonna need Bayonetta and John, or our Bayonetta and John, to come save this brave Sereza. I cannot wait for this theory to be true, oh my god. But again, realistically, that's also wishful thinking. I can't get enough of how crisp this screenshot alone looks, so I can't wait to see how it'll look on the Switch OLED model. Maybe I should get one, I'm not too sure. Maybe I should just spend that extra AdSense or, nah, I'm just kidding. This screenshot also gives us a better view of the health bar, which I don't really mind, but it'd be cool to bring back that iconic, over-the-top, elegant, majestic health bar in the previous games. But in saying that, it's possible that this could also be a push towards the theory that this is not our Bayonetta as well. That's why it's different. But, oh my gosh, she's so thick. The new D-pad UI with the Demon Slave summons are lovely. I don't even know why Malfest was white. It was white in the trailer as well, if I remember. I knew Phantasmarane was orange from the flames, but Malfest? Mm, maybe I'm just being way too suspicious here, but I'm sure there is some th that is just some sort of color differentiator. But anyways, to the real news, you can see how crisp that looks. Holy crap. The huge new thing about this user interface is what I think is the lock-on mechanic. In the previous games, it was a kiss, but now it seems more of the vertices of a triangle. That is pretty cool. You know what? That is another point that really cements the this is not Bayonetta theory. Our Bayonetta and John have the kiss emblem, but this one has something completely different. Another one on the list. Enough about the user interface. It's time to look at the real elephant in the room, and that is the MILFs, the mysterious life forms, and their new, I guess, revealed design? Yeah. <laughs> they are so much more humanoidy and androidy compared to what I remember a month ago. And they have these majestic arm gauntlets and sleeve, which I really, really love. You can actually pinpoint that they have fingers and toenails. So that just confirms their human origin or at least these souls of humans who have passed. It actually looks like that drawing I did of the god of Pro no, right now, I'm just kidding. I don't want to jump to conclusions, but to me at least, I like how the third iteration of foes are. We have the angels, demons, and now these guys, milfs. <laughs> Something completely different, and I appreciate it. Also, I forgot to mention, I cannot stress this enough. If this really is a different Cereza, then we have yet to see a bayonet or our bayonetas new design or our Bayonetta and John's new design. So that is something to look forward to as well. This screenshot actually showed us more close-ups of them. You can actually see the intricacies of their bodies. They look so much more futuristic compared to the mechanical parts of angels in the previous games. Those angels or the innards of those angels reminded me of more steampunk, while these ones now, they're like a nanopunk civilization. This is what makes me think a human is behind all of these or the god of Purgatorio who has been watching all this time in absence or who has not been seen by anyone? Maybe. 
I wish. In the Bayonetta 3 trailer when it first came out, we thought of these as stretched out blobs of Mountain Dew, or souls of Mountain Dew, but they look much more scarier and feel more epic to fight. They are kind of like near that uncanny valley in that graph. They look like they have more humanoid attacks like an uppercut and utilize more human tactics like with their arm back as they strike upward. And another thing I wanted to point out is that they have these stingray-like tails that connect on their back, which is so similar to the neon flares that the bigger milfs have. I'm sure these are some sort of hive mind path that connects them all to the mothership or to the god of purgatorio or whoever the main antagonist is. The green strike and the pose of them two fighting is what really cemented it for me. It's something that hits my excitement for this game. I can't wait to dodge that for which time, oh my god. The green ooze or mountain dew is better seen so the player, I'm assuming Mr. Eddie, has got some damage in but has ended his combo that's all right. Retry the dodge offset combo again, sir. I know you guys can do it. Ultimately, the big things from this screenshot were a better look at the MILFs, the lock on mechanic, and her thighs. Oh my god. If you enjoyed the sweet video and you do not want to miss the 90th episode special, you know what to do. Let me know what you think of this crispy screenshot below. Stay safe, Minasan. I'm rockin' and never get disheartened.